All right, so filling in this chart, we did six divided by six gave us one, six divided by 12 gave us two, 24 divided by six gave us four, and 60 divided by six gives us 10. Notice that this goes two, four, there's something missing, and it goes up to 10. And remember that our equation was y, our output, equals m, our input, divided by six. That's a really bad division symbol there. Divided by six. So everything that we're doing here was a division problem. But now it's asking us for eight balls of yarn. If we put in that eight over here, and we're trying to figure out this, num this number up here, we're just gonna go in the uh, reverse order. So if it's division for everything we're doing, now we should be doing multiplication. Six times eight. And what's six times eight gonna give us? Correct, the answer is 48. Hopefully that's what you said. All right, so let's look at the next one over here. Charles washes cars to earn money. If he washes two cars and earns $12, all right. If he washes two cars, he earns $12. If he washes six cars, he earns $36. Write an equation to describe the pattern. They're giving us the basics of the equation. They're telling us it's multiplication. They're giving us some of the information for this chart already. So all we have to do is sort of figure out what's missing, like we've done with all the other charts. What times two is gonna give me 12? Well, I know that 12 divided by two is six, so six times two is 12. And I know that 24 divided by four is gonna give me six. So four times six is 24. And going on, six times what is gonna give me 36? Yeah, six. So my rule is to multiply by six. So my equation would be A, which is over here, my input, times what, times six, equals my output, which is over here, whatever number, and that's what I'm trying to figure out with the rest of this equation. So if I was doing the rest of this, if I were to do eight times what is gonna give me my next number, well, that's 48. Eight times six is 48. And 10 times six is 60. And 12 times six is 72. And I filled in the rest of my chart. Let's move on. We already did that. Okay, next part of the chart here. All right, so this one's our next chart in total. It says, the cost, ooh, that's fun. The, uh, it costs $4 for each box of crackers. The equation is shown. Here's our equation, all right? And then it says, I use the equation to complete the table. So G is my input, I'm trying to find out H, my output, and they're telling me that I'm dividing by four. So here's the equation, it gives it to you each time, and then all you're doing is whatever's red, whatever the letter is, you're taking the number from the chart and you're putting it where the input number is. So this eight is gonna come all the way over here and replace my G, which is the placeholder for the number on the input equation. So eight, time, eight divided by four is two. And if I keep on going, uh, 12 divided by four is gonna give me three. And if I go 16 divided by four, well, that's gonna give me four. And if I go 20 divided by four, that's gonna give me five. And if I go 24 divided by four, that's gonna give me six. So my missing numbers here are two, three, four, five, and six. Now the very last thing that asks in this problem is to describe the pattern that you see in this table. I tried typing it, but it got all messed up, so I'm just gonna say it out loud and then I'll show you the answer. Let's look at this chart. On my input side, if I look at the difference between four and eight, remember the difference is how many, are, how many digits between these two numbers, that's four. And if I keep on going to see if there's a pattern, eight and 12, the difference is four, 12 and 16, the difference is four. So I can guess that the pattern here is that the increase, or that the input side of this chart increases by four. Now let's look at the output side of this chart. What is the output side? How does this change? Well, if I'm just looking one, two, three, four, five, six, 
I know that increases by one each time. And I'll just put up the answer here so you can see it. The input increases by four. The output, this side, increases by one. And you're gonna have to do that a couple times in today's lesson that I'm gonna put on the Google form. You're gonna have to tell me how much or what you're noticing about the chart. All right, last problem here. Write an equation that describes the pattern and use the equation to find the next three outputs. All right, well, let's take a look. What do we know? We know that our input side of the chart is W. So we have W and we're gonna have either multiplication or division. I'm gonna have some number over here. I'm gonna have my equal sign and I'm gonna have my output, which is V. The, uh, everything that goes on after the equal sign. So now I have to figure out what's the difference here. So let's look. Two and 12, if I divide two by 12, I'm gonna get six. If I divide it by 24 by four, I'm gonna get six. Let's take a look at that. My equation is going to be something times six is gonna give me my answer, my output. Two times six gives me 12. If I were to put the four here, four times six is gonna give me 24. If I put another six in, six times my other input, which is six, is gonna give me 36. And if I keep on using my equation here, W times six equals V, if I put eight where the W should be, I put in my multiplication sign, I put in my other eight, eight times eight is gonna be, I'm sorry, eight times eight, eight times six, I lie to you, eight times six. So what's eight times six? 48. If I keep on going with my equation, I do 10 times six is gonna give me 60. And if I keep on going the last time, 12, which is my input W times six, which is my other input. And what's gonna be my output or my V in this, in this equation? 12 times six is gonna be 72. All right, so for the rest of the work today, you're gonna to have charts like this, and you're going to have to figure out what the equation is, and you're gonna to have to tell me uh, what the, uh, the, neck, the, the missing digits are. So let's take a look at your Google form for tomorrow, or for today. Write the equation that best describes the pattern. So you're gonna write the equation here, use these letters. Um, if you can't, if you're not working on a MacBook, which a MacBook to put the division sign is just you hit the option sign and then the slash underneath the question mark and it'll put a division sign in. If you're using a, um, uh, a, a Google, like a Chromebook, I don't know if there is a, um, a, a short key for that. So if, the, if it was a division problem, you could just do M divided by whatever the number is. This is not correct equals sign, and then whatever your answer is. Right? That is how you would write that out for the division symbol. Multiplication symbol, just use the X, as in the letter X as your multiplication. So this, you're gonna write out the equation. Here, you're gonna tell me the missing three digits. There's three empty spaces, so there has to be three digits here. Same thing for this one, what's the equation, multiplication or division? And we're gonna move that all the way through that whole section. In this section, um, I need you to describe the pattern that you see. So like we did on the last one, what do you notice between the input and the output? How much is this changing? How much is that changing? And tell me about it. Uh, for this word problem, it refers to this chart. It's the same chart. There's just three separate questions that go along with that chart. And then this one right here, what operation would best use to write an equation for this input and output chart? Multiple choice. When you're done with this, finish off with the uh, creating the input output charts in the Nearpod. There's one last slide that I want you to do. 
Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, make sure that you, uh, if you have any questions, you join the Google Meets that we have on Thursday. And other than that, uh, thank you. I think Thursday's times might change a little bit because I believe we might have a meeting, um, but I'll let you know definitely when I post first thing in the morning on Thursday. Other than that, uh, good work, uh, try hard, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody.